Yo, what is up you guys, Raw here, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at a hero that I have never even taken out of my altar one time. I'm going to be completely honest, I have never used Dracax. This is going to be the first time I am ever using this hero. So let's take a look into the hero's altar and I'm going to show you guys what Dracax I'm going to be using. He is double evolved level 200, 10 of 10 whirling axe, 5 of 8 bulwark and has a level 2 Little Havoc pet on him. Now let's uh, read his skill description really quick. Deals 660% attack damage to nearby enemies over 5 seconds and reduces the healing they receive by 65%. Also deals 450% attack damage to the enemy hero with the least remaining HP. Hero has level 8 deadly strike, cooldown is 7 seconds. So. This is the part that makes Dracax not really usable right now, and this is a main part of his skill because it reduces the healing enemies received by 65%. The only problem is, we don't really have any game modes that require that to be a factor. The only place that I can think of that this might be useful is in Lost Battlefield if you're up against a Ghoulam, but guess what, you're not always going to know what uh, team the Ghoulam is on to be able to match Dracax right up with the enemy Ghoulam. Also possibly in Fortress Feud, but the real problem is there are so many other heroes that can uh, fill in for this type of hero and do better in certain situations, so no one is really using him guys at all. I don't think anyone... Now, my perspective is from a top tier perspective. So if you're a lower tier and you happen to have a Dracax, but you don't have a Vlad Dracula or an Immortep or something, he might even be better than Immortep. I have to, I, I, that's a good question. I'll have to look into that later on. But if you don't have Vlad, then yeah, probably it's gonna help you in here be monsters and stuff. But my point of view is from accounts that pretty much have every hero and are, you know, in the end game type stuff like Here Be Monsters 3 and uh, Lost Battlefield, the top rankings of Lost Battlefield, top arena, stuff like that. So that's what this video is going to be from that point of view. So you guys don't, you know, comment on there, well, I have a Dracax and he's awesome in HBMG or, you know, everything like that. I bet he is, guys, but I wouldn't know that because I'm not really doing that right now with Dracax. Alright, so now that that is out of the way, this hero looks pretty awesome, I'm not going to lie. It is riding a dragon, and uh, at the evolution he gets white hair, he grows a little older and stuff, but he's wielding an axe, and that dragon looks pretty awesome if you really look at it. He is uh, pretty cool looking, kind of almost like a mal bigger Maltanica with Demogorgon's... Demogorgon's uh, colors. I don't know how to explain it. But anyways, let's just read up on Dracax's biography really quick. And it says, Only one person has ever befriended the dragons, and that is Dracax. Unwavering in the face of danger, he alone has displayed the true strength and courage needed to win the dragon's friendship. Dracax is never seen without his, without his faithful friend by his side. Watch out for this deadly duo because they'll attack where your defenses are weakest. I think that last sentence has to do with his proc hitting the uh, hero with the least remaining health and all that kind of stuff. So just start off, we're going to get into some gameplay with this Dracax, guys. And we're going to go to a lower dungeon. Let's try dungeon 6. We'll go to the end tower here. So there's some R8 heroes. So I just want to send, send him in this dungeon so you guys can see his proc and everything. And uh, so I can see it actually. I think I've seen it, but I don't really remember exactly what it looks like. I can tell you his regular attack looks freaking awesome because he's throwing an axe. Holy shit! That is a big proc. Oh my goodness. It looks like a big titty with the. <laughs> that looked like a big titty with Rack Axe in the middle. I'm sorry if you're younger, but that's funny right there. Anyways, his proc looks awesome, but this is a lower dungeon, like I said. So it's going to be destroying stuff a lot quicker. Looks like it does set it on fire, similar to Maltanica. And uh, the axe, like I said, looks pretty cool. I want to see his uh, his 450% attack damage part of his proc come down. I think it's like a big axe. It kind of looks like the Arch Demon. I don't think it hits troops or buildings. I think it only hits heroes. So after this dungeon, we will have to uh, back out and go in and see if we can catch that axe. We're going to go to a little bit of a stronger dungeon. I guess we can at least go to Expert Dungeon 3. Let's try Expert Dungeon 3. See how he puts up with that. Okay, guys. Before that, I do want to tell you that I am using Life Drain 5 Crest on Dracax because he does not have any self-healing. 
and I'm also using Goblet of Life artifact as well. So in case you guys had any questions about what kind of crests and artifacts I'm rolling with on Dracax, that's going to be it. Let's just check to make sure. Yes, he is in Goblet of Life. So back into the action. Expert Dungeon 3, 10 of 10. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? All right, back out. We're going to hit attack, not sweep. All right, so there is a Minotaur boss in this one as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop Drac Axe and keep your eye out for the big, huge axe that should come down on one of the heroes out of the sky like it's coming from nowhere. And there it was down below. It just took out whatever was right there with one shot, guys. So that looked pretty awesome. Let's see if we can get a little bit better of a view of that animation and everything hopefully it hits the middle boss that would be cool all right it came down and just it just ghosted this hero over here but i'm not seeing the damage that comes with it these are elite heroes level 100 so i mean i guess that's not really impressive boom the axe just killed him too so one thing that that tells me is the axe part of drac axe's uh, proc is global meaning it'll hit any hero on the map with the lowest hp and there he goes hitting the middle boss with it so this seems like a pretty easy dungeon to get through with this kind of Drac X right now, so it's not very interesting. But as you can see, his damage is hitting for about 26,000, and that's just with Bulwark. He does not have War God or War God 8 or anything like that. I'm assuming if you had War God 8 on him, he'd be hitting like a truck. I do think that Vlad Dracula hits a lot more. Mine does have 8 of 8 War God, so it's a really a hard... Uh, a hard comparison to make but hey if any of you guys have a Vlad Dracula that is level 200 double evolved with only a five war god let me know and maybe I could use it for a video or something like that so I just want to make sure that Dracax is gonna take out this uh, Minotaur boss hopefully he is oh he took a little damage there he took a little damage but he, he healed right up with goblet and life drain so uh, this this one is stunning the boss does stun a little bit what I want to know is why isn't little, little havoc there he goes. Little Havoc hit him. Okay, so I thought he was broke for a minute. It must be on cooldown or something like that. All right, so he's easily able to take out that Minotaur Chief, and I'm going to exit out of here. I'm not going to waste any more time doing this crap. What I do want to see with Dracax is I want to see if he can beat a Here Be Monsters. If you guys noticed, I do have a Here Be Monsters base, so Dracax. Hey, Dracax, you little bitch. Why aren't you useful in the game, bro? Why aren't you useful? You have a dragon. Alright, sorry guys, but anyways, we're going to take him into Here Be Monsters, and we'll go to Challenge 2, and I think we'll start off with P. Let's start off with P, and see if old Dracax here can uh, take out Wave P1 we're on right now, and it looked like it was pretty quick. I guess P's a little easier than I expected. So we're going to, do we have any, oh, we have another part of P1, that's why, that's why, old Raw forgot all about that, so... They're going to take out all of our buildings, and this this Here Be Monsters wave right here for sure does not have any heroes like Reaper or, uh, you know, heroes that are going to be hitting my heroes while they're over here. Well, I guess my hero because it's only Dracax. Yo, Dracax, why you got a little havoc, bro? All right, guys, <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. But anyways, these freaking dragons are pretty weak. They need to hurry up and take out these buildings because y'all slowing up my videos. Oh, shit. Look at those arrow towers, man. I forgot that freaking range on there with seven uh, green is, is pretty ridiculous. It's going to be hitting these heroes. Hopefully, it doesn't screw us over in the long run because it just took out Druid. And now, now it's taking out more troops. And we're not going to have enough troops left to freaking kill the buildings. Hopefully that is not the case because uh, the dwarfs are about to get wrecked right now. Dwarfs, run! Run, dwarfs! Anyways, uh, dragons are way out of range, so crap, this is not going to go. This is not going to be too good, guys. It's really not because I don't think that these little dragons are going to get anywhere close to my arrow towers anytime soon. And we only have a minute and 36 seconds left. So big fail on my part. Jesus, man. Why is it not working? All right. Guys, I have no idea what is wrong with me tonight. I'm just, I'm feeling it, if you know what I mean. I'm pretty lit. I'm lit tonight, if I can get into you young kids' lingo. The only thing I can hope... Oh, that's not good. That is not good. I need all of them to come over to this freaking hero's altar. That would be, like, the only thing that saves me. That would be the only thing that saves me. I'm trying to entertain you guys while this bullcrap is going on. So you're not sitting here like, oh my god, Raw. 
You freaking showed two minutes of dragons hitting buildings. So boring. Blah, blah. That's usually what kind of feedback I get. But anyway, sorry guys. It's pretty crappy, I know. Probably, you know, I'm not the, not the greatest in the world, I guess. But anyways, I really hope that they kill these freaking buildings real quick. Uh, 39 seconds left. I really, really hope they do. I think they're going to aggro onto this, uh, the magic freaking relic hall thing. Yeah, that's what it's called. Rel relic hall. All right, so, come on. We have 25 seconds left for you guys to destroy this freaking gold vault and move in range of my towers. Well, we're going to find out in about two seconds if we're ever going to be able to pass this or not. They're moving closer. Are they in range? This would be so clutch. Watch one dwarf not get killed or something. Nine. What? What? Went from nine to seven. Five. All right, we lost that. Okay. Way to waste a Here Be Monsters Try Raw. Jesus. All right, we're going to go back into P. Let's try Q. We're going to go to Q. Let's go to Q. All right, so this wave does have Reapers and stuff that can kill Dracax from beating away at all those buildings out there. We're going to be able to take out the first half of this wave pretty easily. Pretty easily, so... Let's just hope my towers do not screw me over in this one again. One good thing is it's all heroes up here and no troops. But the only bad thing is I have a feeling that once they get down here and start hitting these buildings that they're pretty much going to get wrecked. So hopefully it doesn't leave just one hero up there like that right there. Oh man, don't let Stozilla go by himself. Don't let him do it. Oh, we're wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe my towers could beat this. Just my towers might be able to beat this wave. So, it looks like Snowzilla is going to be the only one who makes it. And he's going to have to take out all these buildings. The only good thing is Reaper can heal himself. My Dracax is still above 50%. And I called it, guys. Snowzilla is all by himself to take this crap out. The only bad thing is my town hall is over here, so yeah, this ain't, I don't know, he's going pretty good though, he's level 170, not evolved, of course, so he is going to hit decent, but it's going to take forever for him to kill, oh, come on, come on, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, can you take him out, if my tower takes him, there's no way he's taking him out before that, I hope he aggro's over here, come on, aggro to the right, aggro to the right, buddy, yes, oh, don't go left, please take him out, Please take him out. It saves so much time. One more. <laughs> Are you serious right now? One more arrow would have had him. That is just my luck. The good thing is he's going to probably take out... Yeah, he's going to take out my town hall in this other mana vault. And once his proc goes off, he's going to throw crazy snowballs. And there it is. So he's going to come back over here. And let's, let's confirm that it was only one more arrow. Boom! Okay, so... We should be in the clear now. I really apologize for wasting your guys' time with that. But it's all for the... I did it for the vine. For the video. I did it for the video. But anyways, my towers are going to be bombarding all these heroes and stuff. Bombarding this wave. We experienced a little bit of lag there. I don't know what that was. But uh, here comes Dracax. He's going to get to heal himself up. Hopefully, yeah, there he goes. He's starting to heal up. His proc is huge, man. I didn't realize how big his proc radius was. That's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. So anyways, this wave is going to be pretty much destroyed by the arrow towers. Uh, help a lot in this. So we're moving on to wave Q2. Q2? Sounds like a Pokemon character or something. Oh, wait, that's Mewtwo. Yeah, that's Mewtwo. Anyways, we have wave Q3. I'm an idiot. We're going into Q3. We just beat Q2. And Dracax is going to come out here and meet some of the troops some of the uh copters there's a cupid over here he's gonna proc is it enough to take out wow okay he was able to take out the cupid and the reaper which is amazing so it looks like we're gonna get, get through this wave pretty easily we have uh lanticord left and the arrow towers are just gonna shred him to pieces so we're gonna be moving into q4 and it's gonna be a bottom spawn which is kind of good we'll get it going a little quicker and he's going to be able to proc in about two seconds here. So we get to see it. And it just eats everything alive. It's doing 50,000 damage on that hero down there. And about 25 on everything else right now. We do have a purple dino. Let's see what he hits the purple dino for. Unless uh, the dino gets killed for some reason first. Come on, what are you going to hit him for? Oh, I can't see it. It's blocked. It's blocked. Little Havoc. 
All right, so we're, we're going to wave Q5. It looks like I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that I think we won this one. There is a Minotaur Chieftain coming. That looks really funny when they run. Like, I'm a Minotaur. Uh, okay, so we're going to be able to beat this. I am almost 155% positive. So, Dracax is going to proc. Everything's going to melt. The only thing we're, we might have a little problem with is the boss, but I highly doubt that. Everything's coming in right now. The pumpkin dude got stunned, so that was good business. And the only thing left is the Minotaur boss. If he ever gets his wobbling little ass over here into the base, we can start hitting him. So I think he's aggroed onto one of the top uh, towers over here. So we're going to get... Oh, no, he switched He switched targets. All right, my Dracax is taking some damage. Come on, Dracax. Oh, he just hit him with the axe. That axe messed him up. Holy crap. Looks like Dracax is going to pull this out. He got some good heals going, and it's uh, completely healed his health back up. So, there you guys go. Dracax solo soloing Q5. I'd have to say, I guess that this hero is pretty bomb diggity at lower levels here be monsters and stuff when you don't have uh, Vlad, or even if you put him and Vlad... Could you imagine him and Vlad out there together on a lower account or even maybe on this even maybe on uh, Here Be Monsters 3? I might have to try that sometime. The only thing is I think they're going to add some healing demons and healing heroes in on uh, Here Be Monsters wave the new Here Be Monsters that are going to be coming out soon. All right, so I've showed you guys dungeons. I've showed you guys Here Be Monsters. I am not going to show you guys Arena because he offers literally nothing, no value in their Arena and you will hardly ever see him anywhere near the top of arena use there's too many other arena heroes and that's just not his place in my opinion unless they bring out some crazy new healer that you need dracax for we'll have to wait and see all right guys well that's going to be it for this video i really appreciate you watching and i really appreciate all you guys that are commenting on my videos with uh, all kinds of love and support lately really means a lot you guys are the reason i make these videos no joke so thanks always for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. And as always, don't forget to stay raw, baby.